I'm Lisa. I am the Ukulele Fool. This is the second lesson for kids in ukes. We're going to learn a new chord. We are going to learn the F chord. F chord's trickier than our C7 that we learned last time. Here's what an F chord diagram looks like. And a diagram is kind of like your fretboard here on the ukulele. See how they line up? Well, you have the four strings, the string that is over here on this side, and on that side of the chord chart, that's the string that's closest to the floor. That's your A string. And of course, this one's your G string, and it's the one that's furthest on this side, just like the chord diagram. And that's one closest to your face, okay? And you're smart. I don't need to tell you about the other two because you've already got that figured out, right? Yeah. Well, this chord requires two fingers. You can cheat and play it with one if you're really struggling. But I'm going to show you the real way. And then I'm going to show you the jazzy kid way if you need it. So using your index finger, you want to bring it to the second string from the floor, that's your E string, and you want to put it in the first fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and reach over to get the string closest to your face, that's your G string, and you're going to put it in the second fret. And you want to make sure that you are on the tippy tips of your uh, fingers, which might mean that you need to sharpen your, sharpen, not sharpen your pencils, you need to cut down your fingernails. So it sounds like that. If you have fingernails, they're, they're probably going to get in the way of the very end of your finger playing it. I, I really don't see people with fingernails playing the ukulele, or at least fingernails on this hand and lightly strum and make sure that's your F chord. And you know what? If you just feel like hanging out for a day and just playing your F chord every once in a while, that is perfectly fine. That's kind of actually what I'd recommend. And then once you're getting, you can let it go and get back on and let it go get back on and it still sounds beautiful, then we've got a song to do. Purple Stew. If you're ready for that, let's get going. Here's a question for you. What's wrong with my shirt? Do you get it? It's a joke. We're going to do Purple Stew. We're going to be doing down strums for most of it like we did in our last lesson. Those like, we're making a purple Stew. Whip, 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 we're making purple stew. Scooby dooby doo with purple potatoes and purple tomatoes, and we want you. What are you gonna put in your purple stew? And here's a chance for you to become a bit of a songwriter and make up something to go in the purple stew. You could say something that makes sense, like purple eggplants because they're kind of in that purple family you could even do something like what's purple food oh like purple gummy bears not exactly a stew food but it is something you eat or you could just go out on a limb and say something crazy like purple eyeballs yum huh yeah Okay, I'll bet, you, I'll bet you your creative juices are already going and you're thinking of all sorts of purple things that you could put in the purple stew, whether they're things you'd eat, like purple eggs, or naughty, like purple trees. So you think about it, or maybe they're things that people would eat in other cultures, like purple beetles. I'm sure somebody eats purple beetles somewhere in the world. My dog would probably eat purple beetles. Let's do purple stew together. Sing it with me. 
Let's just keep it a down strum and then I'm gonna show you your next step in making it a little snazzier. So here we go. One, two, ready, begin. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. We're making purple stew. Scooby dooby doo with purple potatoes and purple tomatoes and we want you. What are you gonna put? in your purple stew. Purple ukuleles. Let's do that another time. I'm gonna come up with something different to put in my stew. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it adult, okay? I'm gonna be adult this time. Here we go. One, two, and here we go. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. We're making a purple stew. Scooby dooby doo with purple potatoes and purple tomatoes and we want you. What are you gonna put in our purple stew? Purple coffee. Yeah, see I made it adult. All right, if you're feeling nice and comfortable, if your strings are sounding beautiful because you're strumming nice and lightly, all your strings are ringing, then let's make it a little more challenging. Let's learn about an upstrum. Put the beat on your body somewhere. I put it here in my chest so you can see it. You can put it down on your legs, put it on your shoulders, put it on your forehead. Yeah. Do it with me. Make sure we're together. A lot about making music is doing things together. And that's what makes it fun, in my opinion. So we're going to say, making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. So we're going to change from B. Purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. Notice, in order to go faster, my I have to go smaller. Whip, 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 whip. Instead of... Because I have to do things faster. One, two, let's say it with me. We're making a purple stew. Whip, whip. to do that with our strumming too. Vary up our strumming and instead of going down, we're going to go up. Practice strumming from the bottom to the top. Sounds a little different, doesn't it? That's because you're getting more of the pad of your finger in. Keeping it nice and relaxed, just like the down strums, keeping it nice and quiet. Eventually we'll get louder. Trust me. Can you do up, down, up, down? One, two, and here we go. Up, down, 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 up. So you make it really quiet. Look down at your strings. Are you hitting all the strings? You want to hit all your strings? This is, a, you're, you're learning some really important ukulele skills. Good for you. So we are going to take the words whip, 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 and we're going to go up, down, up, down. One, two, ready, go. Up, down, up, down. One, two, here we go. And one, up, down, up, down. We'll say whip, whip with it. One, two, ready, go. Up, down. Do it again as a rest. Whip, 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 whip. So there's a little bit of silence there. We're going whip, 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 whip. And silence is an important element in music. Absolutely. Whip, 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 whip. So practice doing that. Feeling nice and comfortable. And then let's put it whip, whip with Scooby Dooby Doo. Same thing with Scooby Dooby Doo. We're going to go up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up. I said up and went down. That'll probably happen to you too. And up, down, up, down, up. One, two, do it again. Up, down, up, down, up. Say Scooby Dooby Doo with it, starting down here. One, two, here we go. Scooby Dooby Doo. Just like that. One, two,
do it again. Scooby Dooby Doo. We're going to add that to the whole song. So if you're feeling nice and comfortable with whip, 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 and Scooby Dooby Doo, then let's move on. The first way is just to practice the whip, whip, and Scooby Dooby Doo. We'll practice the new part. One, Two, and here we go. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. We're making a purple stew. Scooby dooby doo. Let's do that again. One, two, and here we go. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. Making a purple stew. Scooby dooby doo. How'd that go? Play nice and soft keeping it relaxed. It's right in time with the words. Let's do it one more time for good measure. One, two, here we go. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. We're making a purple stew. Scooby dooby doo. If you're feeling good and confident doing that, then move ahead. We are going to combine our steady beat with the up, down, up, down, up. So, it sounds like this. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. We're making a purple stew. Scooby dooby doo with purple potatoes and purple tomatoes. And we want you. What are you gonna put in your purple stew? Okay, let's do that again. Let's see. I'll tell you in advance. We're going to put a purple chair in our purple stew. One, two, here we go. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. We're making a purple stew. Scooby dooby doo with purple potatoes and purple tomatoes. And we want you. What are you going to put? in your purple stew, purple chairs. I think if you can do that with me, I'm going to turn you loose here. Have fun with this. Get your family members involved. See what purple things they would put in your stew. You know, if you're, if you're doing this with a group of children, you can, you, the we want you could be, we want you, and you can point to somebody, we want you, and you can say somebody's name, so you can trade off who gets to be the composer and put, put something purple in the stew. Have fun with it. I hope you're enjoying your F chord, and then we're gonna go to F and C. I promised you that there would be just a little help if you were having trouble making that F. So the first thing that I want you to do is put your fingers there, make sure, they're not really pretty. Here is the number one problem. Your thumb needs to be in the middle of the back of the neck. And frequently I see that kids will even like hold their instruments like this and it makes it hard. So if you're still having tr trouble with that, first get an adult to help you, making sure, have them watch this video, have them take a look. When you pull your hand away, it should still like look like you have an ice cream cone still in it. If that is still a problem and your parents are thinking or the adults that are working with you are thinking that, you know, I think your hand's just too small. Don't fret, don't frown. Oops, well, you do want to fret, right? <laughs> this is the ukulele, right? Index finger only. It'll sound a little different. We're making a purple stew. Whip, 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 whip. You can still have pretty close to an F sound. It is a real chord that adults use. It's just not quite an F. So play with it that way. And, and then keep working on trying to stretch that finger over. Get a nice pretty sound. Eventually you'll be able to do it. Let's learn F going to C. 